shade names are Byakugan. Um, let me just look at the shadows. Okay, I'm gonna start off with the palette, so let's just go ahead and look at it, and then I wanna see if now I am this, like, I am a super fan of Naruto, okay? So this right here, like, I'm gonna get judgmental if the shades don't match the names, okay? Let's go through the shade names and see if they match. Okay, so it comes with a clear film, of course. And then, here we go. It's heavy, it's actually a heavy, heavy palette. The inside has the picture of Naruto. Oopsies, that was the lip gloss falling. Let me just put it up here. The picture has, uh, the inside of the palette has a picture of Team 7 and they are like 3D, like their headbands are 3D, their noses, like I don't know if you can see Naruto's nose there, like it's 3D, their, like bits of their clothes, like Naruto's, these folds in his jacket and his collar, and like their, did I just scratch a shadow? No. So, now, when I saw this shade range, I was not happy about it, like, why do we not have a bright orange shade in here? Like, why this needed a bright orange? orange shade in here like come on we have a glittery orange but not a bright or like neon orange matte shadow like this this palette is super super similar to the avatar palette they did an avatar collection as well um and the their color scheme is almost exactly the same and well people are like comparing it to the avatar palette so yeah, let's go ahead and go through the shades and the shade names to see if they match. Okay, I'm gonna put the back of the thing on here and then let's see. So this eyeshadow, actually this is this is not good. Let me just read it off of here. Oh no, that it has the shade names on the palette. Oops, sorry. I'm gonna put that. Okay, so we have this gorgeous sparkly shade. Do I need? See if this will help anything. If this will help somehow, somehow. Um, okay. This beautiful sparkly shade up here, it's called Byakugan. I approve. This next one is called Copy Ninja, and it's like a matte gray with shimmer in it. So it's just shimmery, but it it has like little specks of shimmer in it. It's a very light bluish gray, and I'm guessing uh, this is a reference to Kakashi's hair because the name is Copy Ninja. Okay, so do it to I approve of that. Hidden Leaf Village is this like champagne -y, sparkly shade. I'm fine with that. Uh, ramen Ichiraku. It is Ichiraku Ramen. Okay, not. I'm sorry about these ears. It is Ichiraku Ramen, not Ramen Ichiraku. Like, excuse me. Excuse me. And it has. It's like this peachy nudish shade with gold sparkle. I don't get that color for that name. Um, okay, I look ugly without my little Hinata side pieces, so I'm just gonna put them back. Put them back down. Then we have a sparkly pink shade, light pink shade called Sakura. I'm okay with that. Hidden Stone Village is this like stone brown, sand brown, which... Okay. Rasengan is a dark sparkly blue. This is when I swatched on my hands, it's the only one that's stained. It is amazing, this shade. And I think it's too dark for Rasengan, like I would have named this Sasuke. Okay. Then we have the bright orange. It's not called Naruto, it's called Nine Tails. Okay, it is too brownish and too like umbery for me. Like it's more of an amber instead of an orange, so I don't like that. Then we have Sharingan, which is this like a sparkly glittery kind of like mauveish red shade. Which for me, um, Sharingan. This is not this is the Uzumaki logo. Hold on. Here we have the Sharingan on here. Like I want a true like red, like Louboutin red for the Sharingan. And then we have Hidden Sand Village in this more earthy color, like this is more of a color of sand to me, so I think that's a miss for me. Jonin, the 
bottom shade over here, which I guess it's inspired by the Jonin vest, which I'm okay with. Hidden Mist Village. Is this like a bluish, greenish kind of um, dark shade, matte shade? Okay. Hero, the golden shade. Why hero? Why hero? Like, I wanted a Minato. Okay, I wanted a yellow flash. Why hero? Kaze Kage, this like a very dark burgundy matte shade. Okay, and then finally Hidden Cloud Village is a brown. Hidden Cloud Village, but no. Not really. Not really. I'm not in love in it, but I had to have it, so I bought it. So I gave Colourpop my money, so it doesn't matter. Okay, let's start with, um, I didn't bronze, like I didn't put bronze on and I wanted to try from this palette. So we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna see how blendable these are. So I'm going to go ahead and put bronzer on and let's choose for bronzer. I'm gonna first contour with the Hidden Sand Village shade. I'm just gonna pick it up on my brush and let's just... Whoa! I put it on too low. Okay, my mirror is up here.
guessing that these would look even more shimmery if you were to apply them with your fingers or to dampen the brush but I want to put uh, the eyeshadow on top so I'm not gonna do that symbols 
but I do want to take some pictures, so let's go ahead and put some mascara on. But first, let me get rid of this fallout. Okay. Let's put some mascara on. First, I'm gonna curl my eyelashes. There's this one, like, vintage movie. With... I don't know if it's Mae West or who is it? She's like...